Topaz Photo AI has received two recent updates focused on minor enhancements and bug fixes. Today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, I would like to share with you my raw workflow for utilizing Topaz Photo AI in Lightroom. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you so much for joining me again today. On this episode, what I want to do is show you my raw workflow when working with Lightroom and Topaz Photo AI. I'll be working on this image I shot with a lens baby and my Canon 5D Mark II camera. Let me click on the develop tab and just show you what I've done here. I've just done some basic adjustments. Now I've used a linear profile. Now, you don't have to adjust your images first, by the way. You can go ahead and send those right on into Photo AI first. But you can also process them if you would like to, like I did with this image here. And either way will work out for you. But I'll show you. If you've already processed the image, I'll show you what you need to do after your image comes back into Topaz Photo AI. And as I said, I've just done some basic adjustments here. Uh, as far as detail, I have no sharpening no noise reduction just some color noise reduction which i always do color noise reduction i find i get a really good result when i do that and the other thing is as far as lens corrections i'm just using these lens baby lens corrections that's all i'm doing here now when i send this image over to topaz photo ai it will go in without any adjustments on it but once I get it back into Lightroom, I'll show you what we need to do. Oh, and by the way, if you're enjoying the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell notification. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification if you do that. And also, don't forget to please leave comments and questions. I'd love to hear from you. Before I send this into Photo AI, let me go ahead and zoom into this image. So you can see this image is slightly on the soft side this is the area that i want to be in focus and we'll see if photo ai can get this in focus for us the other thing is the iso is kind of on the low side if we zoom in here to i'm at 200 percent. let's go into 300 percent. i don't know if you can see there is a little bit of noise in there but photo ai will get rid of that and hopefully sharpen up the image as well to send your image into Topaz Photo AI, what you need to do in Lightroom is come up to File, click on File, and come down to Plugin Extras and find Topaz Photo AI and click on that. That'll launch Topaz Photo AI and it will start to do its autopilot adjustments on the image. Whenever you send a RAW file into Topaz Photo AI, you'll notice that none of the Lightroom adjustments are attached to it. It is basically just that raw file without any adjustments whatsoever. So just bear that in mind. Once I get back into Lightroom, I'll show you what we need to do to get the adjustments that I've made in Lightroom onto this image. Right now we're zoomed into 100% and you can see if I click the eye right here, here is the before. So you can see how out of focus this is right here. And if I click this eye again, here is the after, and it sharpened this area up really nice right here. I went ahead and zoomed in to 200%. I just clicked right down here to 200%. And you'll notice, you see these little specks right here. I don't like these right here. I really don't want these in focus. And you can see this speck right here. I don't want this in focus as well. And also down in this area here. I don't think I need to have this line in focus. So let's see if we can get that out of focus. So how can we do it? If we notice right up in here, it says subject is detected. And if I hover over subject, take a look in this preview area up here. You notice that that is the area that is selected that is in the magenta. And you can also see it in here. So if I click on refine, what I can do is, and I love this new non AI brush to get the AI brush. You just toggle the AI brush on to get the non AI brush. Just toggle this off and we can adjust our size here, or you can use your left and right bracket keys to adjust the size. And this area right here, I don't want in focus. So I want to be in the subtract mode right now. It's an ad. If you type your X key, that's a shortcut that'll take you into subtract. And I could subtract this off right here. And now we can even, this is something new with this update. We can make our brush down to the size of one pixel. So I'm going to take it way down right here. I'm just going to paint over these areas, these specs here that I don't want in focus right here. And then there was this spec right here. So I'm going to take my brush and make it even smaller and just paint over that little speck 
right there. And hopefully that will no longer be in focus. All right. And then all we need to do is click done. And now it's going to update itself. And now you can see those specs are out of focus. That line is no longer in focus. And this high frequency little speck right here is not in focus either. So that's kind of nice. I may just bump this up a little bit. Give it a chance to update itself here. And let's see if it's sharp enough. Now, if we need to add some more sharpening, we can click on sharpen. And what we can do is take the strength and I'll just drag it to the right a little bit and see if I can get a little bit more sharpening in there. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. That gives us a little bit more sharpness. And that's basically all I need to do here in Photo AI. Before I leave Photo AI, I just want to point out under the refine section here, if you click on refine, there's different things that you can do here. Right now I have mine set by default, so it's looking for the default subject. You could set it to portrait, landscape, or none. You can adjust the feathering, how feathered the edge is by adjusting this feathering slider. You can change the overlay to a different color if you want to. You can change the opacity of that overlay right here. I forgot to point that out. If you need to clear your strokes, you can click on clear your strokes. And then once you're satisfied with your mask, you just click done and your mask will be updated. And now all I need to do is send this back to Lightroom Classic. So all you need to do is come here and click save to Adobe Lightroom Classic plugin. Give that a click. It's going to go ahead and save itself out. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and I'll see you in a second right back in Lightroom. And now here we are back in Lightroom Classic. I'll click on the original raw file that has been edited. And we can compare it to what just came back from Topaz Photo AI. And it's nice and sharp now. But we need to go ahead and get these adjustments onto the Topaz Photo AI result. So here's what we need to do. If you click on Copy, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy all my settings. And if you don't have your settings checked on here, you can just click on Check All. Okay, and that's all your settings. And click Copy. And now click on this photo AI image and make it active and then just simply click paste and those adjustments go right on it. There's my linear profile and all the adjustments and there you go. So here is the CR2 version and here is the photo AI version that's been updated and sharpened. Now if I zoom way in here we can take a look and see what kind of results we're getting here. Here is the original raw file. And you can see it's very soft. And here is what came back from Topaz Photo AI. It's nice and sharp and clear. And that is how easy it is to send raw files into Photo AI and get Photo AI to remove noise and sharpen your image as well. And by the way, to do the copy and pasting, make sure you're in the develop module, okay? Not in the library module. You want to be in the develop module to see the copy and paste. Well, there it is. That was my Lightroom Classic raw workflow when using Topaz Photo AI. The image on the left is the result that came back from Photo AI. The image on right is the original edited raw file. Hey, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you will get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.